Hello, how are you? Did you learn distance, displacement and speed from the previous video? Today, we can learn about scalars and vectors. Also, we can do a comparative study on speed and velocity. I am Jaya here welcomes you to Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Please subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. We have learnt about a lot of quantities, physical quantities like length, mass, time, weight, distance, displacement, speed, etc. etc. These quantities can be measured using some instruments. For example, length can be measured using a scale, mass with a balance, time with a watch like that. These quantities can be divided into or can be classified into two that is scalar quantities and vector quantities. Scalar quantities and vector quantities are in short it is called scalars and vectors. Suppose you are going to a shop to buy some sugar. You are telling the shopman to give 2 kilogram of sugar. The shopman is giving you a packet of sugar having 2 kg. Because the message you conveyed to the shopman is complete. 2 kilogram of sugar you want. You said that the message is complete. Same way. If you are saying the length of a table is 2 meter, the message is complete there. What is the time if you are asking me, I will tell you it is 2 pm or 3 pm. There also the message is complete, the answer is complete. What is the speed of a vehicle? It is 40, meter per, uh, 40 km per hour or 6 meter per second. There also the answer is complete. Such quantities are scalar quantities or scalars. These are scalar quantities because they have only magnitude. Mass 2 kg that is the magnitude. 5 meter that 5 is the magnitude. Time 3 pm that 3 is the magnitude of that quantity. Speed 6 meter per second in that 6 is the magnitude of that quantity. So, quantities having only magnitude are called scalar quantities. We can define a physical quantity which can be completely specified by its magnitude alone is called a scalar quantity or scalar. Now, take the quantity force. Ramu hit. I am saying Ramu hit. Quickly you will ask where? Why such questions you will ask, isn't it? Because that answer is not complete. I will say Ramu hit on a box or Ramu applied force on the box. That answer is complete, right? Because force is a quantity which is complete only with magnitude and direction. Such quantities are called vector quantities. Similarly, displacement. I displace that box to which direction you will ask quickly, right? Because displacement is a vector quantity which is complete with magnitude and direction. Velocity is also like that. Velocity is a quantity having both magnitude and direction. So such quantities which re require direction in addition to its, its magnitude is known as a vector quantity. Any physical quantity which requires direction in addition to its magnitude is known as a vector quantity. In the last video we learned about speed. Speed is the distance travelled by the object in one second or one minute or one hour or in short we can say in unit time. In unit time, what is the distance travelled by the object that is called its speed? Or in short, we can say it is the rate of change of distance. And its unit is meter per second or kilometer per hour like that. You must have seen in some vehicles, in all the vehicles like cars or buses, there is a meter 
which give you the speed of that vehicle instantaneously at the moment what is the speed of that vehicle that can be read from a meter called odometer so speed of a vehicle is measured using odometer it is the instrument used for measuring speed now what is velocity velocity is the rate of change of displacement okay displacement is what those who did not watch my previous video please watch i'll give the link below this now displacement is the shortest distance so if the object is moving to a point we should know in which direction it is moved and what is the final destination point now to reach that final destination point which is the shortest distance which is the shortest path that shortest distance is the displacement whichever path it is taken the shortest distance will be the displacement for that we have to find out what is the direction in which it is moving and what is the final destination point so velocity is something which is connected with the direction in which the object is moving that means velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction or its rate of change of displacement the unit of velocity is the same as that of the speed thus on differentiating speed and velocity speed is the distance traveled by the body in one second or it is the rate of change of distance its unit is meter per second velocity is the rate of change of displacement or velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction its unit is meet again meter per second so velocity is the speed itself but we have to mention the direction also that's what velocity is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction unit is the same as that of speed now another difference speed has only magnitude and no direction so it has it is a scalar quantity whereas velocity has both magnitude and direction so it is a vector quantity uniform speed and uniform velocity uniform speed we studied in the previous video if a body or if an object travels equal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in uniform speed along with that if that object is not changing its direction also we call it as uniform velocity that means in uniform velocity speed and direction both will not change if the body travels equal distances in equal intervals of time in a given direction it is said to be in uniform velocity take the case of earth moving around the sun or the tip of the needle of a clock it is moving in a circle with the same speed its speed is not changing it is moving with uniform speed but its direction changes at every point on the circle its direction is different that means its velocity is different so the direction of the object changes at every point so the velocity changes at every point of motion and speed does not change for an object moving in a circle with constant speed average velocity is the same way we calculate average speed total distance traveled by total time taken but in a given direction direction also we have to mention thus average velocity is the average speed in a given direction we can say average velocity becomes equal to average speed when the object moves in a given direction if its direction is not changing on a straight road a car is moving with the same speed we can say it is 
its average velocity and average speed both are same. Hope you understood the topic well. Enter your doubts and suggestions in comment box. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.